Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs, back with another episode. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing more uh, tutorials and more videos, I know I don't post as much anymore here. Um, I'm over on Udemy. Um, the link is in the, uh, the description below and I'll actually post it in the comments. But um, I'm doing a lot of my videos there. Every once in a while I will do videos here still. But in this video, in Thea Render, I just wanted to... Uh, bring some more effect to this rendering so I have this rendering here and I have my water and this uh, this house this is a, a sort of like a cabin I call it I named it long cabin and if you're interested actually you can download this model on gates3designs.net also the Revit file here I'll show you that real quick hey guys if you're interested in downloading the Revit file of this long cabin house um, you can download it at gates3designs.net um, here. This is the uh, page layout. I have renderings and some floor plans and a perspective and a couple sections here. Um, you can download this file just like this. Um, it'll have that layout, that page layout. So I was looking at this water here and I was just wondering what more can I do to it? So um, if you want to manipulate a material that um, that's all that's all that's that's been created already and you just have it in your your Thea browser of materials, we can just uh, open up the uh, Thea tool. And with that, you see the little Thea logo in the uh, in the cursor there. You can just double click on whatever material you want to manipulate. So let's double click the water. All right. And so you'll get this, this box up here. Um, and there's several things you can do. So, you know, we have a bump here. Let's go ahead and get the rendering going. It's actually it's starting on scene one. So we got a rendering going and I kind of like it like this, but let's just see what happens if we mess around with the roughness. Let's put the roughness at 20. So we start to get some, uh, cause the sun is shining down. Manipulating the roughness is, is allowing that light to, to bounce or show more there, which gives you a really nice look. But I see that and that's cool and all, but I'm not sure I like the rest of it. So you can just, you can just toy around here and just see what you like. Let's see what 10 looks like. You know, 10 gives us a nice subtle reflection. And I think that looks really nice. And you still get the same ripples here. Um, and you still get that sun reflection. Let's take it back to zero and see the difference. You know, zero, you don't get much of anything, but just to add some, some spice to your rendering, let's go ahead and set it at 10. I like 10, maybe even 15. Let's see what that, oh, wow, we don't want 91. Let's try 15. Yeah, I like 15. I like the subtleness of the light there hitting, and you still get a nice look in your water on this side. That's really nice. So again, if you're interested in downloading this file, um, and I can show you again what the Revit file looks like, but if you're in interested in do downloading this SketchUp file, you can download it and take a stab at your own renderings. Or if you're into Revit, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say uh, download the Revit file. And um, it has everything, it has the floor plan, it has the elevations, and it also has the page layout. So, um, Go ahead and take a look at gates3designs.net. Um, that will be posted down in the description and also in the comments as well as the Udemy course. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative and thanks for watching.